And welcome to your Gone Market Update and Chart for the day for today, Monday the 3rd of July. We trust you've had a good weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we had a strong session on Wall Street on Friday as those PCE numbers came in slightly softer than expected. Jobs data, the highlight in the US this week. And of course, just to raise it as an issue, US earnings season does start next week. So just bear that in mind if you're a CFD trader. U.S. futures near neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets are generally higher in early trading. The A6 is up 0.3%. Our European futures are pointing to a mildly higher open. And the VIX is trading still at lows not seen for over three years. U.S. dollar index reversed Thursday's gains on Friday. It's a bit mixed today in Asia at this stage. We are seeing some weakness also in the yen. Uh, gold has bounced off its 200 EMA last week and is back over 1900 and copper snapped a seven day losing streak on Friday looking very positive in Asia actually at this stage. Oil is trading mid range as it's edged up a little higher again and Bitcoin is in a tight range still between 30 and 31,000 resistance. We've had some Australian housing data which was positive compared to expectations. We've actually had some Chinese PMI data which was better than expected. Later on, we've got Swiss CPI, PMI numbers out of Europe, the US and the UK. And of course, we've got the RBA decision tomorrow. A couple of charts that caught our right. We are liking PLS on the daily chart, which is edged over this critical 510 level in today's trading. You can see the importance of this level and the potential for a move up back towards this 560 level which would be a gain of around about nine percent some strength without a doubt in lithium stocks today uh, certainly worth keeping an eye on uh, in the fx market we're seeing some yen weaknesses have already stated we're looking to retest friday's highs on the gb pound yen if we look on the hourly chart we've got pivot at r1 183.96 level so a move over 184 would have us very interested in this as a pair nice 70 pips plus to the upside potential to take us up to R2 if we do get a breach. So one, again, worth keeping an eye on over the next couple of hours or so. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.